Welcome back to Ariadne's Quotes of Wisdom, episode 12. I think that's the right number. <laughs> I'm starting to lose count. I guess I better write that down before I start these. Today's quote. Do not do what you would undo if caught. Leah Arendt. Again, one that is pretty obvious and one that pretty much everybody could probably tell you intellectually. Do as I do as I say, not as I do. Um, very big parenting uh, trick. Um, but I think everybody has probably done things that they try to get away with. And the key here is that is the integrity of how much you actually do that. How much do your words and your thoughts and your actions align? Um, if what we want to do versus what we actually do are in alignment, then we are behaving in, in the most just and correct manner. Sometimes it might not be what we actually want to do um, because it's, it's not correct, it's not morally just. Um, it's, it's not what the rules tell us that we should do. Um, but it is very important that if we are caught doing something that we own up to our mistakes too. Um, obviously lying is, is just another mistake and you're just covering up a mistake with another mistake. So that it should also be taken into consideration if you try to get away with something, if you are going to go against your better judgment um, and you actually try to do something, then I think the consequences should also be thought about um, because it goes without saying that um, you know, not everybody is a saint. Not everybody will continue to, um, you know, align everything. But if you are caught, can you live with owning up to that? That also goes into the integrity of how you live your life. And I think this also deals with kind of the golden rule. Um, and, and, Speaking from a religious point of view, um, religions were developed kind of for a moral base, and you don't necessarily have to be religious to have a moral base. Um, I personally think that a lot of religions are, are fear-based, but one thing that um, when I was in college and I was kind of going through my own um, turmoil, let's say, with, with religions and trying to find myself, I did some research. And I have this entire book, looks like a textbook, that I went through and I researched like, all the different world religions to try and find what resonated with me. And one of the things that I really came across um, that I put back here in the back of the book was kind of the foundation of all the religions. And what that is, I know it's probably kind of a reverse image, but what that is, is basically the golden rule or like the great commandments um, of every religion. And the basis of every religion is kind of a do unto others as you'd have done to you. It's just a rewording of that. And if you really think about life and if we all lived by that one rule, that one simplistic law rule governing sentence, that one simple moral, do not do or say, behave, whatever, do not do unto anyone else 
what you would not want done to you. Would you want to be lied to? Would you want somebody to kill you? Would you want somebody to hurt you? Would you want somebody, you know, to uh, whatever? I mean, whatever you can think of. If you would not want somebody else to do it to you, don't do it to somebody else. Do you want somebody to manipulate you? Don't do it to somebody else. And if everybody could simply live by that and actually abide by that, the world would be so much of a better place. But that is not the way that it is. And I think that this quote kind of goes to that too, is that people just try to get away with boosting themselves up and getting ahead of everybody or something to that nature or just doing what they want to do and trying to get away with not having consequences for it, you know, and seeing how much they can get away with and pushing the limits, pushing the boundaries, see how, how much we can do without getting caught and having no sense of, of morals about it. But that's not a person with true integrity and not everybody has that same conscious compass inside them. If we could somehow instill that at a younger age, I think things could, could get so much better. Just it, maybe ask the question of younger kids, you know, when they do something to somebody else, would you want Johnny to do that to you? Maybe try and make them think. I don't know. I don't know, again, what the answer is, but um, I think that's kind of a, a, a real core situation. Is that's, That is a good question to ask ourselves every time we try to do something. You know, if I get caught, would I, would I want to undo this? Will I own up to it? If, if somebody else did this to me, would I be okay with it? Would, would I want somebody to do to me what I'm about to do to somebody else? If you can ask yourself those questions, think about what the answers are before you do something. And I think those are very good, um, those are very good questions to ask yourself and to give yourself a moment before you actually have any kind of behavior or any kind of decision. I think those are, are good questions to ask to keep yourself morally sound if that is something that you value. And that's about it for today. So I'll see you next time. Have a great one.